everybody, thank you so, so much for tuning in. Today's video is a woven rope tray. And the reason I do the quotation marks is because this is actually inspired by a tray that I was looking up online, which is woven and beautiful, and also a whopping $89. So of course I put my brain to work and decided that I would try it using Dollar Tree materials. And I actually managed to make it for $6. Mine is also mirrored, but of course, if you wanted the whole thing to be rope, you can wrap everything in rope. Anyway, I really hope that you enjoy this video and stick around by subscribing to this channel. Once you hit that subscribe button, we instantly become best friends. We just become best friends. Yep. And please go ahead and hit that notification bell so you know every time I post a video. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. For this project, I'm gonna be using this Dollar Tree mirror. Now this mirror is a lot easier to find than the ones I've used in my other tray videos, but if you can't find this one either, then an eight by 10 picture frame works just as well. So I'm gonna save the mirror, and now I'm gonna push those prongs back in so I can work on my frame. Now to cover the entire thing, I picked up this three pack of jute in Dollar Tree. And the whole project only took one and a half of these bundles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my hot glue gun and start really, really low and trying to do this in as straight of a line as possible. You can also just paint your frame or paint your frame at the bottom so that you just don't see any of the black peeking through. So I'm just going to follow the lines all the way around until I get to the top and the entire thing is covered. Now that everything is completely wrapped in jute, I'm going to get rid of this fuzzy stuff by taking a lighter and quickly going over the whole thing. You can't really see the effect here because I had already gone over it with a lighter but didn't record. Basically what this does is just burn off the extra fuzzies on the rope. And you'll be able to see it later on when I do the other pieces. But for now, I'm just showing you how quickly I'm going over the entire frame. So now that it is completely done, I'm going to reassemble, adding my mirror. And make sure you're really careful because Dollar Tree mirrors aren't exactly the sturdiest. So once everything is completely added and in place, you can go ahead and add glue if you want. This step is optional, but you can also add furniture protectors. And I have two kinds, and both kinds can be found at Dollar Tree. They're really simple to add, just remove the lining and add them to the four corners. You really don't have to add this, I've made plenty of trays without them. This is just if you're really paranoid of the tray scraping up any of your tables, so this is up to you. So for the woven circles, I'm going to use these two inch book rings from Dollar Tree. If you can't find these, you can also use Dollar Tree shower curtain hooks and they bring a lot more to a pack. So I'm just going to add a bit of twine to the bottom piece and be very careful with your fingers. And now what I'm going to do is cut as much as I assume would cover the entire ring. You can also do this in smaller sections so that you don't have to keep wrapping through. But basically I'm just going to wrap everything until I get to the end. And I hold the part that I'm wrapping with my finger so it doesn't unravel, but you can also add bits of glue. I just really didn't want to use too much glue on this so that it didn't seep out. Once you get to the end, make sure that you cover that really, really well so that you can't see it. And you're going to grab your scissors and cut that little bit of excess and hold it down with a bit of glue. I'm using my nail so that I don't get burned, of course. And once that's in place, look how fuzzy this looks. So I'm going to grab my lighter and here you can see how quickly all of those things burn off. It completely changes the look of things and you want to make sure that you work quickly. You don't want this to catch on fire. It really doesn't, but you know what I mean. You don't want any fire hazards when crafting. Look how great this looks afterward. For the whole project, I'm going to be using five on the longer sides and four on the shorter sides. And I'm going to make sure that the part where the ring closes is facing me. So I'm pushing this up against the mirror so they're perfectly leveled and then I am gluing them to each other where they meet. And this is just to make my life a little bit easier because doing them individually would be such a headache. So now I'm going to do this to the other side as well, pushing it up against the mirror and then up against each other 
so that they're perfectly leveled. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to measure out where I want them and of course the closures are going to be facing upward and then I'm going to add hot glue. For this one I did each individual one but later on you'll see that I do it all together. So I'm going to add dabs of glue exactly where the rings are going to meet the frame and then I'm going to just place that on top since this is rope hot glue holds really really well and quickly. So now for this side, I'm just gonna go ahead and add all of the glue at once and press that up. And I actually like this method better because it all ends up leveled. And some areas are gonna overlap a bit. That is completely fine. And you can see how quickly this holds. For this last piece, you can see it overlapping just a bit, but that's completely fine. You can push it into the direction where you want the rings to kind of meet, and you can add some glue. So now I'm going to use this Dollar Tree nautical rope. This part is optional, but I wanted to add a little border to it so that it doesn't look like every other tray I've made. To attach the rope, I added small dabs of glue to the top of each ring, and I made sure to pull the rope pretty tight so that it looks nice and neat. And whenever I got to a corner, I made sure to pinch the rope just so it looks nice and square. And you can see here where I'm pinching the rope. When I get to the end, I just cut it down with some scissors and I'm gonna grab my lighter and just burn the tip so it doesn't unravel. Then I'm gonna attach it using the same method, but I'm also gonna add a bit of glue to the end of the rope so that they're both touching and do not unravel. So now I'm gonna do the same thing to the rope and make sure to get rid of all the fuzzies. Once I'm done, I am gonna clean off my mirror since all those fuzzies did land on there. And after, Bam, I have a $6 rope mirror. If you like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and thank you so, so much for watching. Till next time.